Fun fact, after watching this film, my beautiful wife went on a labor. We're at the hospital right now. So you may wonder why do I record this review on the bathroom? I don't know, but let's do this. Well, before being here, we were at this midnight screening of the film I'm about to review. So I couldn't wait a couple of days for it. So I decided to do this right here, right now, gorilla style, with a camera, a phone, and all the memory up here because it's a lot of stuff. So, guys, let's do it. Let's talk about the most anticipated film 2019, and that is Avengers Endgame. Movie, I love movies. Avengers Endgame is the final conclusion of the Avengers story and all the superheroes in the MCEU. And this film is directed by the Russo brothers, Anthony and Joe Russo. And this film is starring Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, Mark Ruffalo, Scarlett Johansson, Don Cheadle, Paul Rudd, Jeremy Renner, Bradley Cooper, Aaron Gillian, Tony Larson, and Thanos himself, Josh Brolin. And the plot of the film is that the remaining Avengers must figure out a way to stop Thanos after wiping half of the population. So yeah. This is the most anticipated film of 2019 and I was super excited. If you haven't seen my trailer reaction for the trailer, just click on the link down below and you will see it. Like I said, I think the trailer was really good. The trailer is one of the best trailers I've seen of all time. I'm a huge fan of the Marvel Universe. This film lives up to its hype. This is hands down one of the best films I've seen in a while. Holy crap, Avengers Endgame delivers in almost everything. Like, if you thought Infinity War was really good, then I can tell you like this. This film is a hundred times better. It's better paced. This film has better character developments, better action, better CGI. This is a full epic superhero film. <laughs> this film is three hours long. But I can tell you like this guys, I didn't feel the length of this film. I was trying to soak everything that this film was giving to me. I was so happy and satisfied with this conclusion. Like. This film brought everything. This film has emotions. A lot of emotion. Because you know what happened in the end of Infinity War. So all these characters that we lost, we're still mourning them in this film. While the other, the remaining Avengers, need to figure out how to stop Thanos. And just following them while they're trying to figure all this chaos. It's like wow and Thanos in this film by Josh Brolin he kicks ass and this is why Thanos is hands down one of the best villains I can tell you like this he is up there with Heath Ledger's Joker like he is that good in this film he is probably going to be a Darth Vader uh, uh, iconic villain he is so good in this film and everybody else Everybody else is really good in this film and everybody gets their shine in this film. The Russo brothers, I don't know how they did it, but they delivered the, with the second Captain America film, they delivered with the Civil War, they delivered with the Infinity War, and now they delivered with this one. According to me, this is the best crafted film of all of those films. It was just sitting and having fun. That is the most important thing. This film is a lot of fun. Uh, this film has great camaraderie between these superheroes. You feel sorry for these people because everybody lost somebody close. Another person I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised of is Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye, aka Ronin. He is really good and he is one of the most interesting people in this film. 
I wanted to know so much more about the universe. I wanted to know so much more about the characters, even though we know about these characters. I wanted to know so much more because this is probably the end for some of these characters. All I gotta say is, guys, be prepared because the ending is a bit bittersweet. Some people will love it and some people will hate it. But to me, I gotta agree with Robert Downey Jr. I think the last eight minutes in this film is mwah. not even eight minutes. I think the last 30 minutes in this film is one of the best endings in the Marvel Universe. I'm going to do a spoilers on Sunday because right now I'm in the bathroom doing a review. But I was really excited and I really wanted to do this because you can see my face. You can see how it happy I am. I had a grin from cheek to cheek. Like this review is probably going to be more a, a happily rant than a review. The stakes is high because they need to stop this powerful villain and the stake is high because he got all the infinity stones and they are weak without it. You just want those guys to win. In this film they are the underdogs. Why? Thanos has the upper hand. I can tell you like this, you will root for everybody. Even Thanos, you will root for him a little bit. This to me is one of the best superhero films. This is top two, the best superhero film. The only bad thing I can say about this film is that the humor can be a little bit of a hit and miss. Like some of the stuff are really fun. Like I laughed my ass off, I was crying because some of these stuff these people are saying is it's really fun especially Paul Rudd as Ant-Man he was really good at coming with these one-liners Paul Rudd did his job in this film and even Bradley Cooper as Rocker Raccoon was like he was really funny in this film but some of the jokes can be a little bit childish and a little bit like yeah it's not that fun but except that I don't have anything bad to say about this film. To me, I was so pleasantly satisfied with this film. And this is top two of the best superhero films of all time. So my rating of Avengers Endgame, I'll give it five out of goddamn five. This is one of the best superhero films of all time. The hype is real to you people out there. You will enjoy this film. You will even love this film. This is a fun ride all through with a lot of emotions. So yeah, <laughs> five out of five for Avengers Endgame. Uh, like I said, this was a spoiler free. And yeah, um, real quick, uh, kudos to the Russo brothers for, for giving us the last cameo of Stan Lee. When you see the cameo, you will cry, man. You will cry. You will cry a lot. Like, I was in tears. This film brought me tears. It brought me laughter. It brought me uh, anger. It brought me happiness. This film brought me a lot of emotions. But in the end, I had fun. And that is the most important thing. And this film overall is a masterpiece. So yeah, five out of five for Avengers Endgame. Like I said, sorry guys, this is a spoiler free review. I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm gonna wait till Sunday when everybody already seen this film to do my review for this. But right now, this is spoiler free because who wanna see a black man ranting in a bathroom about Avengers Endgame? Come on, it looks a little bit suspicious. <laughs> So yeah guys, what do you think about Avengers Endgame? Did you love it? Did you not love it? Write your comments down below and let me know. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. So every time I upload a new video, you will be the first to see it. My name is Alfie aka Random Black Guy aka Chocolate Face No Makeup. And my review I know is all over the place. This is not my typical review, but like I said, I'm at the hospital. My wife is about to give birth to my first, first child. So I'm excited. I can't wait. 
but at the same time I wanted to do my review for this film because like, I've been waiting for this film for a while so me and my pregnant wife decided to watch this film and after watching this film she went on labor so yeah like I said that was my review for Avengers Endgame one of the best films of 2019 hands down really satisfied until next time I'll give you out there peace Random black guy